Good morning guys, welcome to today. We're not even ready for the day yet. We are headed to camp, today's camp day. I dreamed about it, I dreamed that the girls are gonna be jumping. I don't know why I dreamed that. God sometimes shows me. I'm gonna fall and I'm gonna jump two feet. Wahoo! Anyway, uh, we're getting ready and we'll see you guys down at the barn. Yeah, is it bad? So remember in yesterday's video, I don't know if I cut it out, but uh, well, Finn, you be looking not so mus muscular. So if you gotta ride him, um, basically, do you guys remember yesterday when Finn kicked Storm? Well, so now he has a cut. Today is November the first, and it's my birthday month. It is my birthday month. By the end of this month, I will be 50. I'll be 50, you guys. Glorious, amazing 50. 50 years of happiness. No, that is not true, you guys. I want to spend this next few weeks before my birthday showing you guys that the most important love in the whole entire world is the love of what? Who should you love the most? Horses. But who else? Second. Cats. <laughs> Or dogs. No, dogs and cats. What is the most important love in the world? Horses, obviously. You have to love yourself. If you don't love well, yourself- Well, the most important love in the world is horses. Uh, yeah. Goodness. Sassy. Anyways, um, I'm looking for a tape measure. I'll explain in a minute. But it's true. The most important love is love that you have for yourself because without loving yourself, you can't love anybody else the right exact way. And I think it is super important. I think that is a way to change the world. So I'm going to spend the next few weeks explaining to you guys and showing you guys how to love yourself above and beyond. Willow tried to shoot Gracie away. Dad shoot Willow away and she tried to kick him. She tried to kick Dad because he shoot her away? Same thing. Oh, when, when I shoot her away, she gallops away. I know. I just don't have it in my heart to that, to that, for that to happen. Oh, I do. I like <laughs> That's a good point. All right, I need a measuring tape. She trying to kick you? It's scary as heck. I didn't hear you screaming. Hi, Finn. Today I'm gonna give Finn a blanket. I think it's because of Borden that he looks small. Cause Aww. with his wicket, he didn't look the wall. Yeah, stop licking the wall, dude. You're making me think there's something wrong with you. Oh no, he just wants something. To All right, so basically it's cold out now. Today's like a winter day, November the 1st, and it is wintry. And it, Storm. Grace, Grace was getting sat and running around <coughs> the arena. Oh guys, it was snowing, by the way. Yeah. Hey, oh Brody! Oh my, oh my gosh, stop with the birds. Did you guys see that? Anyway. Basically, Finn needs a blanket. We have enough. I have like tons for Storm and Stella. I got nothing for Finn. And um, it is getting cold, and Storm still isn't letting him go in the shelter. So I have to measure him and go get him a blanket. I think he's a 69 or a 71 because of his belly. So uh, that's my guess. Actually, uh, somebody help me with that guess. I'm not going to take all the credit. But anyway, I'm going to. I can't find a measuring tape. So I'm going to take a piece of binder twine. <laughs> I'm so getting good, you guys. Be the farmer is making me smarter. Need two, maybe. Or get a better one. You need two. Okay. Finn. Um, so I got Winnie from Gracie today. And she literally just kicked at me. Like, are you here to take me? Aw, when they Winnie at me, it makes me feel oh. so good. Whoa. So you have to do, uh, nope, low, lower. Well, like this more, we're getting him used Yeah. To. Up a, a, okay, yeah. And then to his tail. You want to cut it? Here. Actually, I have those scissors. I don't know where they are. There's They're right scissors. there. There's two pairs. Oh. Finn. So this is how big Finn is. We're going to drop the girls off at the camp, and then we're going to go to the tech store. Without you. Can I have a kiss? He's like, I'm trapped. I can't back up. I can't go over there. I can't go forward. I'm trapped. I know. Poor trapped boy. Anyway, so today has yeah. got lots of stuff happening. Tomorrow we are leaving at the crack of dawn. I mean, at the crack of dawn. It's the crack of dawn right now, actually. Um, because we are going shopping for the oh, whole entire day at the Royal Winter Fair. Hi, Hendrix. 
What? Okay, I have something to tell. Okay. Okay. What? So when you pull up into Maine, there's like an itchy spot, and he likes when that itchy spot of Maine gets pulled. So he likes it when you pull his hair. Yeah, his mane. Mm, some people are weird like that. <laughs> uh, some geldings. Yeah. Do you like it when I pull your hair? No. <laughs> no, I don't either. He's probably remembering what happened yesterday. Uh oh, watch out, Sophia. <laughs> So we are at camp. It is so cold outside. We've got Fiona over here. She's in her truck. It's Shayla on this side. Yeah, in her van. And we're waiting because we're a little bit early and nobody wants to get out of the car because it's so cold. Shayla, it's Sophie. It's no syrup. Gabby's drinking her peace tea. It's no syrup November. No. Who is she? Beauty. It's Beauty. Is it a new one? No. It's oh, it's just. All foals in here? I'm She's all... from way down there. You're cute. Oh, you're cute. That's Look That's at that nose. Hi, hey, Sully. You are so cute. Yeah, he pushes. And that's a foal, too? Yeah, he's only two. Oh no, this is a foal. That's Sophie. That's Sophie. That's yeah. a foal. Yeah, those are foals. No, she's young. All right, I do not who know who else is coming to camp. Oh, Sheila. Oh, we are going with you in the morning. Yeah, four people. Seven thirty in the morning. Oh yay! All right, so we measured the blanket wrong. Oh man, just when I think I got it right, I don't. <laughs> Story of my life. Just when I think I'm on top of it, I never am. It's the way God keeps me knowing that. I always need him. And it's also God's way of keeping me humble and realizing that nobody is perfect and it's okay. Anyway, we are headed to the tax store now. Uh, Fiona helped us figure out the size. I think Finn is like a 74, a 74. And he's just a pony. But anyway, and Storm's like a 76, 78. But yeah, so it's that big belly of his. We're gonna go and find him a warm coat. coat. It's happening, you guys. See if I can get it on camera. Do you guys see it? It's white, standing on our window. Look, you see it? It's snowing. It's snowing. It's terrible. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Sophie went to camp and I said, Sophie, get your winter coat. Do you think Sophie got her winter coat? No, so Sophie's at camp with just a t-shirt and a sweater on. Tomorrow we're actually saddle shopping, you guys because Finn needs a saddle. Mid-weight blanket, $100. That's cute. Finn look good. Mm -hmm. So essentially, I don't know if I'm letting him grow a coat or if I'm blanketing him for the whole entire season so that he cools down better after rides because he's going to be worked all winter. So I want an insulated rain sheet. Oh, that's terrible. Starting shoot. Yeah. So I either want, so I either need a midweight. Uh, this is insulated. No. Basically, I think what's going to happen you see your measuring tape. is that whatever color they have, whatever color they have in stock is what we're getting. We measured wrong, so we have to add five inches. All right. So. This one is on the mannequin outside, and this is the one we're going to have to get because we actually need a 72 and try it. And what I decided is that, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think he gets a lot of hair and he's chubby. He's going to generate a lot of heat. He's going to, he sweats a lot when we work him. 
if we don't blanket him, we're gonna be seven hours cooling the guy out after lessons. And in Canada, when it is so cold that you can't even hardly stand your feet, the toes are broken, feeling like they're falling off. You don't wanna be standing six hours after our lesson to cool out your horse. I think him and Storm are both gonna end up getting blanketed all winter. I actually really love blanket shopping for horses. I do, I can't help it. I also love saddle pad shopping, even though we don't need more, but you guys know, the girls are going to be getting a saddle pad at least for Christmas and a matching ba base layer. Also, Gabby got a, um, a friend sent Gabby a bunch of really nice base layers. She doesn't wear them that often yet because she doesn't have saddle pads to match. So I need to remedy that this Christmas. These are all the little that they have at her tax store. Oh, I do not love that, but thanks for coming to see me. Hi, oh, handsome. Are you hungry? What's the matter? You won't let Finn in the, in the you see I brought you a present? He's like, oh, you brought me a present! Or else he saw the blanket and was excited. Finn, don't run off. Do not chase him off when I'm in the field with you. Come on this way. <laughs> They're so excited. Come here, Finn. Hi, handsome. Come here. Come away from Storm. Sam's got Storm's blanket. They galloped to me. Finn, I don't know if this is going to fit. I need to try it on. I'm nervous. <laughs> you got to open it and put it over his back. Like Stormy boy, you got to get a blanket on so you be warm. This is Finn's. I got a lot of bucket buckles. Don't let him run over. Put your head in, big boy. Put a, row, a strap around his neck and he'll stop. Jeez. A strap of the of the blanket. I see some hanging right there. Just put it around his neck. It won't work. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dumb. Here, you video me and I'll do it. Alright, Laura's gonna try it. She thinks she knows what she's doing. She thinks that she knows what she's doing. Yeah. Here, just let me take it apart. Finn's like, Finn's like just hurry up and get me a blanket on. Like, even the girls don't come outside when it's this cold. <laughs> Storm! <laughs> He's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Do not run me over. Oh, rain is starting. Ben, do not kick him. Ben, don't bite him. Finn. Listen, if this goes down, you're in trouble. Okay, let's not do it. Let's not do it. Finn, storm. Storm. No. Do you want to wait for Gabby? Storm, it's the blanket. It's your blanket. You wore it before. You're good boy. Good boy. You're okay. You're okay. You've had blankets all your life, handsome. All your life, and you've never. Good boy! Good boy! There we go. <laughs> and like, like, what the hell is that? <laughs>
<laughs> Help! They're, they're, <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> You're next. It's cold. We have to do this because you won't let Finn in the shelter. There he is. Fashion magazine. It's just a blanket. We're just putting it on so you'll be warm. Get. You go. Get. Get. Oh, you are such a good boy. Because he's the one that's always cold. You think it looks long. Maybe it's too big, Finn. Yeah. Oh! He likes it! Yesterday, I posted on Instagram that baby mouse that we found. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, you might not know, but we found a baby mouse and we had to choose. Save him or let him die. And we saved him and released him and I feel really good about it. But what shocked me was that I went on Instagram and I posted a picture and I said, would you save him or would you not? And so many people said... Not. Save him, that they would save him. I was so proud of you guys last night on Instagram. I was reading through all those comments and I was like, I'm so proud of you guys. Like, the answer is to always help somebody even if it means the outcome is not gonna be as good for you. I'm so proud of you guys. So well done. I'm not proud of you. Your horse was not very good to us. Oh, We tried happened? to put his blanket on and he said, you are not my owner. And then I just laughed my head off while your dad tried it for 15 minutes. This is, um, Did you have fun? This is Beauty. Her name's Beauty, but everybody calls her Sandy. Everybody calls her what? Sandy. Sandy, but she's and, Beauty. Um, I rode Echo in <gasps> Jump 2 9. <gasps> Was it good? Yeah. Did you ride outside? Oh, oh God, no. too it was cold. It's snowing before we rode. I know. I haven't seen Sophie yet. So this is Beauty, and she's a baby. Down this hallway, please. You almost fell off, yeah. Polly. Yeah. And, um, Why? What happened? She stopped at a jump. Way she stopped at a jump. I would like to see that. And you saved yourself. I went like fully on her neck. Oh my and goodness. I lost my syrup. Where's your mitts? Somewhere. You need to find them because. Did you have fun? You I both fitting? I rode and rolled bareback. Okay. Oh, that's good. Every horse okay, needs a. I fell off of Emerald at a job. job. But it wasn't you. It wasn't me. You rode Emerald too. Yeah. She rode Polly. Yeah, she trotted Emerald bareback. Same she rode Polly. And, then she and all this fell. Emerald too. She trotted the first bareback too. I almost gave Gabby a I bloody nose when yeah. I was getting on Emerald. She went like she elbowed me like that. By mistake. Very hard. Oh, and you know who else elbowed me in the nose with their nose? Storm? Yes, Storm, as he was rearing because your dad was trying to put on a blanket. Oh, did you get it on? Yeah. Yes, we did, but man. He... Oh, no. He... Yeah, so did I. You know what Finn did when did we gave him a blanket? It, it over on his... It there, over his he... back or through his head? His head. Head? Yeah, no. Don't do that unless I... What color of blanket yeah. did you get, Finn? Well, you'll have to wait and see when you get home. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.